I spoke with Brandon Blake over the phone, and he was very upset about this whole thing. He says that he recently fell on hard times and was struggling to take care of the dogs. Now he just wants his dogs back, but the county is suing to stop him. We saw everything from skin irritations that had not been treated uh, to growths to uh, clearly not being fed properly. These are some of the 39 dogs that were seized by Seminole County Animal Services from a Sanford home. Alan Harris says one of those dogs was in such bad shape they had to put him down. It was in incredibly poor condition. Actually, uh, was right in front of me as it passed away. Uh, very, very thin um, throwing up, uh, it just, it was, it was really a, a, a tragic scene. That While Harris calls it the worst situation he's ever seen, the dog owner, Brandon Blake, says it's not as it seems. He tells Fox 35 that his company, Brandon Blake Canine Services, had fallen on hard times after Hurricane Ian, and things got out of hand. People who know Brandon believe him. You know, he was a, a good dude, you know. Yeah, and I mean, it sounds like... And I hate to see it go down like that. Dontrell Jones runs Smokey D's Barbecue at the end of the block. He says he's bought dogs from Blake in the past. I love for him to get his dog back, you know? Because that's his lifeline. lifeline. That's all he knows. Blake says he has run his business successfully for 23 years. His kennel license was in good standing up until the dogs were seized. Blake says he even called the county for help to pick up some of the dogs when things got tough. But Harris believes... This this is an excuse. He was a kin also. He is saying that he can take care of the animals, which means that he could uh, bring them to our shelter. At no time did he bring them to our shelter. Now, the remaining 38 dogs are being cared for and treated here. Ultimately, what happens to them next will be in the hands of the court. In Sanford, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.